guys, it's Vivi at Home Rights. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things. I am um, well into my second picture book, um, Just Won't Nap Jack, and I wanted to review a couple things about how I am going to get Just Won't Nap Jack written a little bit quicker than my last picture book, so stay tuned. <music> guys so like I said in the intro I'm just gonna do a quick review on the things I learned from publishing Addie and the Baby Dragon and getting um, myself set up to publish a second picture book and Just Won't Nap Jack is gonna come out way faster than Addie and the Baby Dragon that took me almost three years three plus years and Just Won't Nap Jack is almost done and I started writing it over, just a little over a year ago so my um, kind of tips for uh, re writing your picture book a little bit faster, um, streamlining your process is number one. Make sure you get the manuscript completely finished prior to planning any illustrations. If you plan your illustrations first and you go, oh, this would be nice to have, this would be nice to have, you end up having to change things um, to fit the text once you've gotten the text written. Um, if you plan first your photos and um, they don't make sense with what ends up coming out of the story, then you've got to change it around and you've got to change your photo. And also, another major thing you want to have planned out before you even start laying out your illustrations is you want to make sure you know what size you're creating your art in and how many illustrations you need. It's fun to do a mock-up by um, folding the paper down into this, you know, a mini of the square or a mini rectangle or whatever this basic size you're using is and then you can create what's called a book dummy. I did that for Addie and the Baby Dragon. Um, this time around for Just Won't Nap Jack I am just doing a spread layout based on the number of pages I need and I laid them out according to the size square or rectangle square um, that I had decided my um, canvas is going to be and then I set up all of my canvases in a um, one single file on Procreate where I can go in and start working on each of the illustrations. I start with my line art first and then I go in with the color and I pre-pick a palette so that I have it saved on my Procreate file and then I can just easily make sure that all of the colors that I'm using need, that need to co uh, correspond between each illustration are right there in the file. So the other way I am doing the picture book faster this time around than last time is I went through my first two rounds of edits on the draft and um, I used Google Docs. I sent it to my sister who's my editor and I had her check it and then I reread it and then I read it out loud to myself to make sure that the pacing was good because in picture books your pacing really is important. You want it to sound really flowing because um, you're going to be reading it to children and you want them to uh, enjoy what they're hearing. And the other kind of side note tip is read it to a child. See if they go, oh, wow, or oh, that's cute. Then you know you're on the right track with your story um, and the pacing and the patterning of the way you're using your words. Um, the other tip on as far as like editing it is then you can go and put it into either Google Docs or Scrivener and have it read to you. If it reads to you without any bumps in the voice, like no pauses, no trip overs, over the words, um, then you know that your pacing is right for um, smooth reading. Um, because parents are going to be reading your picture book to their kids, and it's harder for a kid to get into a book if the parents are tripping over the words. Um, so you want to you want to always make sure you can hear it several times before you click submit. So the other cool thing about um, the way I'm going to be illustrating this book way faster than the last one is knowing how to set up and send to um, the publisher that I'm going to use, which is Amazon. So I'm going to take Just Won't Map Jack and I set up the 8 by 8, 8.5 eight by 8.5 and and square, and then I use my... Uh, page planner and I go through and I start picking the colors and then like I said I use kind of a template layout 
So that helps me see everything in one big spread and then I can um, easily paste in the text too. But what I also did um, was I did a character study of the character of Jack. So if you can see that, which it's kind of hard to see, I did a character study of the face that I wanted to use and the body layout. It's going to be hard to do this. Um, and then I went and I fine-tuned him and I turned him into a, a little cartoon guy. I practiced my layers and what color textures or what types of textures I was going to be using and I made notes on that and then I started going in and I'll go to the illustration. This is the cover illustration and I started going in and I started getting him locked in and I'm going to start doing the line art uh, darker and get it all ready. So, ah, so there you have it. I'm going to add one little video of me um, doing some of the illustrations. like to sign up and get an um, advanced reader copy so you can uh, let me know what you think um, go ahead and leave a comment and, uh, yeah in the comment section below if you would like to see uh, my first picture book Addy and the Baby Dragon which took me longer I was still pretty new at this um, you can go ahead there'll be it'll be linked in the descriptions below where you can get it on Amazon and uh, that's just a little rundown about how I plan on uh, publishing just won't nap Jack quicker than the last picture book. All right. Uh, hope you like this video. Stay tuned uh, to the next video. Click like uh, if you like this content, if you want to see more like this. And go ahead and click the link to subscribe or ring the little bell. And I will try to make more videos based on my illustration style coming up soon. Um, also, I'm going to be doing, my next video is going to be on my works in progress. I'm going to do some little excerpts and maybe some character studies. So stay tuned. I'll see you around, guys. Bye.